Hi, I'm Jane, and I'm here today with Paul Berrettini, the owner of Manor Auctions, and we're here with Paintings in the Park. And Jane, one of the other things we do in, at all of the auctions, of course, is Florida art. Florida Highwaymen art, Albert E. Backus who started the Florida Highwaymen movement of course, and, uh, and all forms of Florida art. Uh, so uh, in, in upcoming auctions we always are looking for paintings from any of the 26 Florida Highwaymen, uh, Albert E. Backus, or any of the uh, original Florida artists that painted the, the uh, Florida landscape, uh, the ever-vanishing beautiful Florida landscape. Here we have a painting from Albert E. Backus. It's an early example of his work in the 50s, where he was experimenting with different types of paints and different textures, where in some places he actually exposed the canvas and then layered gesso over top of that, and then oil over top of that to really bring out the texture of the waves and the, and the rocks and the, and the trees. So it's one of my favorite examples. So Paul, Albert Backus's painting, he had several different, let's say subject matters or maybe um, types of paintings that he did. Are all of them as valuable as the next to the highwayman genre? Uh, that's a great question. Um, they're all different. So, uh, and value is really determined by the marketplace. So he did a great job painting details of flowers. Okay? So some of the smaller examples of works uh, flowers on a per square inch basis, if you will, um, are as valuable as his as his uh, palm tree scenes or his beach scenes, things of that sort. Um, the, the market tends to like the Florida scenes better than the Caribbean scenes and the Florida beachland scenes better than the, uh, the, the flowers or floral paintings that he did. They you tend to be the best one to work with. Right. For. And the other, you said 26 artists that make up the Highwaymen. The majority of their work is also Florida art, and, and much of it is palm trees and things of that nature also, right? Correct, it's all Florida art. Everything that they did uh, in that group of 26 is Florida art. Most of the paintings are images from uh, as far north as Coco to as far south as, uh, as Key West, but mostly in the Vero Beach, Fort Pierce area, uh, things like Rio Mar Point are classic scenes. Those are beautiful, those, I've seen those, those uh, Royal Point Siennas that you see in the Fort Pierce area, those are the Jacaranda trees. Uh -huh. All of that is, is the classic Southern Florida. Sure, art. and the amazing, the amazing colors that they bring forward in their pictures is just something that's hugely unique. It doesn't take a uh, I guess I don't consider myself a, an aficionado when it comes to being able to determine it, but you can tell highwaymen from a distance based on subject matter and the coloration. It's pretty amazing. But there are also some others um, in and around the highwaymen that I've seen um, both in our auction house and out in the open market that look like highwaymen, but I've been told they're not a part of the highwaymen series. Are they as valuable? That's correct. There's many painters that are that are that paint around the concept of, of uh, Florida art. You know, so we really want to call it Florida art. It's not all highwayman art. So, um, you know, but uh, you know those scenes that have become iconic as a result of the highwayman, like the Rio Mar scene and the and the uh, Florida orchard, you know, the orange orchard scenes uh, that that become so prominent. Um, you know, painters, artists like uh, Mark Stanford and. Many of the other Florida art artists, Tracy Newton, the second generation Florida Highland artist, uh, are now painting all of those scenes and recreating a new movement of art um, that, while it's not Florida Highland art, it is Florida art. And, uh, and it's, it has value in its own right based on the quality of the work. And, uh, you know, I, I point Mark out because he's one of my favorite. He paints everything with a palette knife and not a brush. So wow. he's got a little knife that he's moving uh, paint around, acrylic around on a, on a board or a canvas, and it creates the relief texture that uh, that Bacchus really taught everyone to paint. I have a question about these collections. When they come to Manor, 
and uh, they are a part of any upcoming auctions that we have. Um, how do you acquire these? They come from collections, estates, people just giving collections a haircut. You know, in the world of collecting, um, we all possess a little bit of obsessiveness. <laughs> so, so to have just one Bacchus painting is never enough. To have one High Women painting is never enough. We, you begin the project with planning to get all 26. And then as you get 26, you find one more. It's like monkeys and bananas, just one more. <laughs> and at some point, the collection needs a haircut. You know, when you have 40 or 50 and you go, okay, I'm going to get rid of the ones that I don't love quite as much as the ones I really love. And you get it back down to 20 or 30. And then you start all over again. So, uh, and that's part of what makes it all fun. That's nice. So you see quite a few of these pieces. Um, on the average, how many um, highwaymen uh, paintings and Florida art do you include in the average auction? Gene, in an average auction, we have between 30 and 60 paintings in every auction. Naturally, auctions are 250 to 400 lots in every sale, but generally between 30 and 75 paintings in the Florida art genre take up a portion of our sale and then coins, jewelry, and other items that bring people together, you know, buy a painting for your wife, buy a piece of jewelry for yourself, that sort of thing. Uh, make up the, the, uh, the fun of an auction, the enjoyment of an auction. So Paul, if I had a painting at my home that I thought had value to it, um, could I call you and ask you to take a look at it and uh, talk to me about possibly putting it in an auction? a great question. Uh, appraisal services, uh, verbal appraisals are something that we do com as a complimentary service in the community. So no matter what it is, whether it's coins, jewelry, art, statuary, uh, pretty much anything that we have expertise in. Uh, and, and we're never shy to say I don't know when we don't know. Okay. So anything that we have expertise in, we're willing to provide a complimentary uh, appraisal or an assessment for your items. And if it is something that you do want to bring to market, we see ourselves as a conduit, a place of, that we can pass product through the marketplace and get you the most you can for it and bring it to market in a responsible, respectful way.